Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with a video about Captain Marvel. Apparently, Captain Marvel is going to have something for everybody. It's going to be the most um, well-liked, well-loved, bestest, most popular Marvel movie ever. And everybody is going to love it. It's going to do everything uh, for everyone. That seems to be the hype train. That seems to be the way things are going now. Comicbook.com had an article about Captain Marvel uh, last night, last night, saying that uh, Captain Marvel's tone is somewhere between Guardians of the Galaxy and Captain America Winter Soldier. That is a very wide... <laughs> so, I mean, this is kind of... This is like, no shit, really. It's going to fall somewhere between... You know, Winter Soldier is probably the most somber uh, MCU movie and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, uh, is probably one of the goofier uh, MCU movies. So the fact that Captain Marvel sits somewhere on that scale should not surprise anyone, and that, that should be on the poster. That should be on the poster. Uh, 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 if you like Winter Soldier, and you like Guardians of the Galaxy, and you like all the Marvel movies in between, you'll probably like Captain Marvel too. You will. Uh, you must. You must like Captain Marvel. Everybody must love, love Captain Marvel. Okay, comicbook.com, let's read this. Let's read this and see what uh, what everybody has to say about this. Captain Marvel is set to shine a light on an entirely new era of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's what a lot of people are worried about. They're worried uh, that this uh, new era of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to be garbage. <laughs> so we'll see. And it sounds like that will bring about a very interesting tone. Speaking to reporters during a visit to the film set, producer Jonathan Schwartz spoke about Captain Marvel's place in the MCU and how the project will strike a blend between some of the franchise's more serious and lighthearted adventures. It's kind of somewhere in between, Schwartz explained. You know, Carol in the comics is a very funny character in her own way. She is? I don't I don't think she's very funny. I think she's she's kind of got a as Geeky would say, she's got a stick up her ass. Uh, in a way that doesn't feel like Doctor Strange, in a way that doesn't feel like Iron Man, uh, like Robert Downey Jr., that gets to be her unique voice, and that's the voice we tried to get across. That's very vague. That's very vague. Uh, she's not going to quite be like the comics, but she's going to be like the comics. She's not going to be like Doctor Strange, but she she might be like Doctor Strange. She might be a little bit like Iron Man. She she might Her movie might fall somewhere in between. Um, and, and, and tone in between uh, Winter Soldier and and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So this isn't joke a minute like Rocket Raccoon and Guardians of the Galaxy, which is super funny, Schwartz continued. And it isn't super grounded, kind of heavy, as some of our other movies have been. I think it inhabits a, a place like Doctor Strange that takes the movie and the stakes of the movie pretty seriously, but also allows the characters to have uh, fun with it. Well, maybe, maybe she'll smile more. She is smiling. She is smiling. I see a smile. She's got her magic mohawk. She's smiling. Uh, the latest bit of footage for the film, an extended TV spot that aired during Monday's college football playoffs, arguably showcased that tone in spades and that level of nuance. Nuance, is that still a thing? Is that still a thing? It's something that fans of Carol's comic appearances have seen for years. Uh, no, <laughs> some years ago, maybe something that proved to be an interesting adaptation on screen. We really were bringing so much of what was already in the comics onto the screen. It felt like in terms of the amazing character who's so funny and sassy and talks back and she's fearless and she's been canceled like five times. Oh, no, she didn't say that. Uh, screenwriter Geneva Robertson uh, Doré echoed in a previous interview. I love that Carol Danvers is funny. She's funny and she's funny and sassy and funny and a woman. Um, and, and a lady, and she's stronger than any other Marvel character. And you will love her. You will love Captain Marvel. You will go see Captain Marvel because the entire Marvel Universe uh, is named for Captain Marvel because she's just that good. Uh, she has a blast when she kicks ass. Those comics are amazing. It's an amazing world in a sandbox to play in. You're working with incredible creative people every day. I had a total dream experience. Uh, wow, that sounds really generic <laughs> and forced. Uh, and I'm sorry, Geneva. I'm sorry. Captain Marvel will land in theaters on March 8th. Um, wow. You know, other upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe movies include Endgame and uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, the comments are interesting. Um, I think this is funny. AKA standard MCU flick. Would you prefer it of his full-on Winter Soldier? Better yet, full-on Man of Steel, all serious, all day. That's a wide range. Indeed, might as well say this is somewhere between the colors black and white. 
agreed. It might not be a comedy, but it comes close uh, somewhere to Guardians of the Galaxy. So because they got the outer space, the cosmic elements, right? So every time we go to space in the MCU, it's funny. Uh, Ragnarok was funny. Guardians of the Galaxy is funny. So maybe, maybe Captain Marvel just scowls when she's on Earth because Earth uh is a shithole but when she goes to outer space um she cracks a smile because outer space in the marvel universe is so damn fun so hopefully they'll have some comedic uh, moments but more serious moments as well winter soldier civil war infinity war endgame blah, blah 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 yeah so this is a really big like again i i just i haven't seen anything from the marketing of this movie other than it's a marvel movie to actually get me super excited about it. I mean, we'll probably go see it just because I feel like we have to, um, you know, cause Endgame is coming out and I do still believe, I still believe they're going to make her, uh, she is going to be the deuce ex machina. She's going to come in and, uh, save everybody from Thanos because she's just that awesome. And, uh, she's sassy and she's sassy. I do believe that that is, what is going to happen in Endgame? Um, but there you go. So if if you're a fan of any Marvel movie, um, from Winter Soldier to Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, you will love Captain Marvel. You know, she loves you back even if she doesn't crack a smile. Uh, she does love you very much. Captain Marvel is love. She is love, pure, pure uh, binary love. So please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.